Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well and are healthy and enjoying your day. So today I do have four marketplace journals to share with you from Camila and we will go through those in just a minute, but I wanted to take a couple minutes to play in our journal that we're working on. I've been working in this mushroom junk journal that Ellie from Elsie Bell's bookshelf uh, made for me. She made it a while ago, probably in 2018, but I'm getting around to using it and showing you guys how to fill up a junk journal without putting Dear Diary personal information type things in it. That is wonderful to have a Dear Diary or to put personal ephemera pieces and ticket stubs and all those things, but sometimes we don't have a lot of that stuff and we just want to make it totally artistic. I'm also putting in a hint of inspiration with quotes and things like that. And I'm trying to move the theme from just mushroom to all things that I like and think look good together. So the first thing I'm going to do is tack down this paper here because it's really been bothering me. It's glue. It was glued. It looks like with hot glue and it dried before Anyway, I'm adding some of this quick dry tacky glue. Um, I got it because it was easy squeeze and quick dry. I love it. It's the Eileen's brand. Um, my Hobby Lobby has it for $4.99 and if you use a 40% off coupon, it is really cheap. Since it's over six ounces, it lasts forever. So it's not as fast as hot glue or as strong necessarily, but it works. All right, so what we're gonna be doing today is Camila who sent these journals and if I sound out of breath I apologize I have not been well for almost a week now I've had some uh, stomach problems nothing serious more um, protein and digestive problems that are being treated but it's been making me feel really sick and so I don't feel <laughs> great but I still want to craft so if I sound strange or like I'm out of breath it's because I don't feel well so that being said, let's move on. So she sent me this little envelope of Happy Mail goodies, and I, I haven't really looked through it, but I thought there might be something that we could use in our journal. So thank you so much for thinking of me. It's so sweet. And before I kind of tuck stuff away, I want to see what she said. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that pretty? I wonder if we can find a place for it. And if we can't, that's fine. How would that look on the pocket there? This is a lace pocket we put on. We've been just working in it a little bit here and there in the videos. I really think that this on the lace pocket would be fun. I like doing this because it shows how to use the journals and things you can do when you purchase a journal. I don't want that glue to go through the lace and stick to the paper just on it. Isn't that gorgeous? Here's a little lace piece. I don't think that quite goes with our theme. So that's gonna go in my lace drawer, not theme, but it just doesn't speak to me with this journal. So that will go for another project. Look at these gorgeous laces. Some trims, tassels, beads. They're a little on the big side for this petite journal, but they're so lovely. This is gorgeous, maybe we can use this. Wow, look at that. I think we might want to find a place for that. That's cute. We watercolored this um, pocket in the last video and that kind of brightened up the page and now we're gonna put this cream colored lace on the pocket to tone it down again. It's so fun when you get happy mail to find these special little pieces to add into a work. This is the perfect color for the journal. Maybe we can do a little fabric flip somewhere. I don't know that we have the right page for it, but we will see. Not in the middle. Maybe this one. That might be nice. What's clipped on here? A little mushroom. Then I, we can just clip this mushroom somewhere else we haven't decided what we're doing with that yet. This lace is a little wide actually. So I am going to trim off a section 
And of course I can use that section either somewhere else in this journal, I have sequins going everywhere, or in another project, trim it down so it fits the page a little better. Here we go. So here's the beginnings of our little fabric flip. I can't wait to see what we decide to put behind it because it's going to look really neat. This is kind of boho too, but I kind of like it with the mushroom. That was super fun. This trim is neat. I don't know if I want it in this journal or not. That's pretty. So these are not my normal supplies and I'm just looking through what she sent and it's really fun when I see something that goes, oh yes, I want that in this journal, we just tack it down. There we go. Make sure that glue grabs it, not let go too soon. What is this? Oh, some postage stamps. Look at that rose. But I like this one right here. Got that little vintage hinge on it. I used to have a stamp collection. I wish I had kept it. We'll find a good place for this. I love the look of real postage stamps in journals. Oh, beautiful choices. Thank you so much for the goodies you sent. As you see, I'm already putting them to good use and the rest will continue to be put to good use. I'll tuck them back in the bag and they will grow, go into my different craft sections. So that was just a fun couple minutes of tacking some happy mail into our journal. It's coming along quite nicely. And I can't wait to see what we add to it next. But isn't that gorgeous? I want to make sure this... Yep, there we go. We're going to find something really neat to tuck in there. Isn't that beautiful? Let me see what else. Yep, and there's our little lace pocket. All right, let's tuck that aside and get into the journals she sent. This is the first one, and it looks like it is a travel journal. And we see the postage stamps. It's ring-bound, three rings ribbons. It looks like a little piece of luggage. Isn't that cute? Heavyweight chipboard pages. <clears throat> that is really cute. I love it. Look at these. Look at these little tags with the postage stamps. So cute. I think there's even a postage stamp bag in here. Yeah. So there's not a lot of pages because they're so thick. See how thick they are? That's only one page, right? Yeah, they're super thick, but it makes a perfect amount of surfaces for like a weekend or week trip somewhere. You can, here's a pocket, you can tuck things, write things, put photos, put things into envelopes, write about the different places you went. And it's perfect for just kind of like one trip. really nice. Uh, like I don't travel that much. I wish I could travel more, but I have small children. So last year we went to North Carolina uh, to visit my family, but we really hadn't gone much anywhere else. And this year my husband wants to take me to DC. So hopefully we can tour the different Smithsonian museums. Uh, hopefully that will happen, but I'm not a huge travel person. So something like this is really nice because if I do take a short trip, I can put all of my memories in this and then put it on the shelf. So there's that one. Look at this pretty one. This says diary, fabric covered. Isn't that gorgeous? Three signatures. Then there's a little tassel here. And it's just on this clip so you could clip it somewhere else. A little crown. Super sweet. Wow. The little fabric pocket. 
gorgeous pages, the collaging. Wow, it's really pretty. Start each day with a grateful heart. Little ephemera folder there. Slipped into the belly band. Some really pretty digitals. I'm not sure what shop they're from, but they're very pretty. Some little places to journal. I love this lace. Oh, that is so pretty. She's put it on a lot of the pages, which is really nice. It gives it that really pretty cohesive look. Some pops of purple. And we're going into the next signature. A little bit of cheesecloth. Kind of a little bit of a vintage papers theme here too. A little rose die cut. Ledger paper. With the little postage stamps, that's so cute. Very well laid out and set up. Little pocket. Love that tuck spot. I think if I was almost done with that mushroom journal, I'd want to do this one next because uh, there's so many things you could do in this. And that is my total plan when I finish filling up this journal here that we're working and when I finish filling this up with you guys and there's you know no other places to put things then I do want to start another journal and just keep going like that look at the little pressed flowers gorgeous tuck spots really cute look at this little one perfect for Mother's Day a mom holding her little baby. Really pretty appliques. Look at that spine. Look at those flowers. Look at the cute paper. Looks like a quilt. Three signatures. The size is super cute. It is four by four by six and a quarter. Just kind of like, yeah, it's kind of mother themed. So it could be Mother's Day or just vintage family, vintage people. And like I like to say, you can always turn the direction of a journal. So you have some vintage people and things in here. You could add a lot more florals or nature things and tip it more toward nature if you wished. You still hold a lot of power when it comes to decorating a journal. I love that. Look at that fabric ribbon. Sometimes the simplest, sweetest little touch is all you need to just get a wow. Look at that. Some lace in between the signatures. So there's room to chunk this up a little bit. There's a postcard. Very pretty. Another ribbon. gorgeous colors and that's that one and the last journal she made for us is this one it says journal I love the little cluster there isn't that beautiful little leaf charm it's called autumn memories So pretty. So far, I don't really think this has to be an autumn journal. I mean, it has those colors for sure, but I don't see anything that's like, oh, I have to use this for Thanksgiving. I actually find it a little more nature, which is good for this time of year. Of course, if you like the idea of it as an autumn journal, then go ahead and purchase it. Look at all those little snippets. Purchase it, set it aside. It will be here before you know it. Autumn, I mean. Yeah, there's a few autumn leaves there, but it's nothing that's 
Look at how cute that is. The little stamps, the gray squirrel, the black tailed jackrabbit. So well done. Okay, let's see what this is. Got a pocket here. Okay, it just goes over the page. See, it can be removed. It's got that fabric in the middle, pockets. And then you can just kind of put that over any page. It's great for marking your place if you want to move it around. Lots of pages for journaling and turning into what you would like. And that is that. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little slow paced and not as much packed into it as some videos, but I think that can be refreshing sometimes to just take a little breath, go a little slower, enjoy a little bit less sometimes in a video. So I love her journals. I hope you do too. They're in the marketplace section of my website. I have my email address and website below. You can purchase them if you go to the website. And if you have any questions about the marketplace or getting your journals sold and shown on the marketplace, you can send me an email and I'll get those guidelines to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see all of you later.